hello guys we're gonna review canon 500d in this video so this camera is more than 10 year old and it's a 15 megapixel sensor and uh, it can shoot up to full hd in 30 frame per second and uh, the iso goes to 3200 100 to 3200 and you can expand it to 6400 and it takes a normal sd card and yeah it has a battery battery life is pretty good you can take up to like 600 shots and it's a typical canon old camera this one doesn't come with a stm lens this one is the old uh, micro motor is lens so whenever you're gonna be focusing it's gonna be really slow and it's gonna make a lot of noise let's see i'm gonna show you see it makes so much noise so even if you are recording a video via this camera it will make a lot of noise it will capture a lot of noise in the video and this one does not have headphone jack sorry the microphone input so you cannot connect another microphone to this camera so if you want to record some professional video you will have to record the video separately using some external recorder and then later on sync it with this video in this camera now talk about the talking about the good things about this camera i think the 15 megapixel sensor is still good enough in 2021 if you want to do photography you can still do a lot of good photography provided that you have good lighting conditions so if it is like a sunny weather um, you have excellent lighting condition this is gonna take really very good images but if you are shooting in low light so autofocus is gonna be really bad and since the iso range is not that great so the image is gonna be very very grainy so i would recommend this only for like a daylight uh, excellent uh, condition and in case you want to shoot in the low light or in the evenings you can maybe use a 50 mm f1.8 lens which is gonna give you that extra light because the aperture goes much wider but still like for photography i think this is good enough like if you are a beginner you want to learn it uh, photography you can still buy this camera because this one is quite cheap i got this one for around 80 us dollar in 2021 which is a very very cheap price for such a good camera because still you can take good family photos or like a portrait for your friends or landscape shots with this camera the dynamic range of this camera is not that great i think it's around 11 or something if you compare it with the uh, nikon i think most of their cameras in the same price range they have a dynamic range higher which is about like 13 or 14 which is much better for length landscape shot and this one has a uh, anti-aliasing filter so so that filter sits on the sensor and uh, it reduces the more effect but the side effect is that it reduces the sharpness in your image so comparing it with the uh, Nikon D3300, that one doesn't have a AA filter and it gives much sharper image. But talking about the video, I think uh, if you are comfortable doing manual focus, so you can actually change this button, auto focus, manual focus. You will have to, you know, move this to manual focus. Only then you can manually focus because if you don't do that, this focus ring will not rotate. And if you try to, you know, force it to move uh, it might damage the lens but if you are comfortable with the manual focus you can prefix the focus at a certain place and then you can do this kind of a talking head video and still you can get good result provided you have good lighting condition in your room you can add some extra lights uh, um, in your room and you can get a decent image but if you are relying on the autofocus i would never recommend this camera in 2021 because it doesn't have the Canon's dual pixel autofocus, which is the best autofocus in the market. But that autofocus was not introduced when this camera was uh, launched. That one uh, introduced with the uh, Canon 70D, 200D, and the M50 mirrorless cameras and the latest uh, R series. So if you are, uh, you know, craving for the latest uh, and the best autofocus, maybe if you buy a secondhand camera, you can go for Canon 800D or uh, canon 70d or 80d or in the mirrorless lineup you can buy canon m50 but those are gonna be much more expensive somewhere around 400 us dollar or 500 us dollar compared to this camera but for 80 dollar this is still a great camera to buy in 2021 for photography i can definitely recommend this to you guys and for videography i won't recommend it but you can still take 
full HD video with this camera and guys this one shoots up to uh, 3 frames per second so not ideal for sports photography and if you want to check out the sample images uh, that I took with this camera or the sample video that I made with this camera I have already added that in this uh, video so you can check out for yourself how the image quality is gonna be like from this camera okay guys now I'm trying to focus on this pillar and you can actually see that there is so much focus on this, on this camera literally it is trying to auto focus but it is keeping on hunting and hunting and it is very frustrating and this lens is making so much noise actually right now I'm doing voiceover so uh, this video that I'm doing voiceover on it is actually in Hindi but I'm trying to do a voiceover in English on top of that video now I'm trying to focus on my hand and it did auto focus on my hand but it was struggling a lot but now you can see my hand is in focus now I'm gonna try to auto focus again on this pillar and it looks like it's in focus now after a lot of struggle so now you can see this tree in front of me so I will try to auto focus again on this tree and I'm gonna zoom back to 55 from 18 so that you can see more detail so now it is trying to auto focus on this it is hunting a bit but now finally it is in focus so once it is in focus you can actually see a lot of details in the video and i would say the video quality is pretty good the colors are really nice and the contrast as well if you have any questions about this camera feel free to comment uh, and you can also follow me on instagram and directly message me and guys don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video i'm gonna be bringing more such useful videos for you guys in future and lastly you can check out the camera how it looks like so this is how it looks like and guys it does have live view so you can click this button so now it's in the live view and you can see my face basically <laughs> You can see how it looks like so uh, if you are using old manual focus lenses you can attach them and then from the live view screen you can zoom in and focus manually to get precise focus and it and the mode dial is over here where you can you know switch between different modes like video and shutter priority aperture priority and that kind of things and from the back side it's like the standard canon camera and here is the usb connector in case you want to connect it to your uh, laptop and here goes the sd card and here goes the battery that's it guys i hope you like the video see you in the next video guys